Good night. The purpose of this video is to show the workflow of applying a truss in a building component. For this example, I would like to place a truss, a truss, sorry, to support these two roofs here that are sloping in opposite direction. Right? This is a model I'm working for an extension for a research building. And um, I have visibility graphics set to this view, this 3D view where there are, there is transparency for the walls, the floors, and also the roof. Alright, so let's go. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is you have to be in a plan view. So the plan view I would like to work in for this roof here is the upper higher roof. So I see like that. Go to trust system. <coughs> And this is the one that is loaded into my project. Now this is a default. This is the default US metric. This is based off the US, default US metric template. So if you use that, you'll get the whole flat truss standard. And how it works is that if you go into the edit properties type, it, the structural framing type for all, for all the different sections of the truss, the top course, vertical webs, all the column, all the framing members that you have loaded into your project will be available to change inside of here. But this is not ideal. What they have here is a W sheet, W840. I don't want my trust to be made of that. Basically, I want my top core to be a pipe, HSS pipe. The vertical and the diagonal web to be a HSS pipe. And the bottom core to be uh, um, a W sheet, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this and call it roof truss. And well, if I press the, the selection here, no, there's no pipe loading into the, the project. So what I do is I just press OK. We'll come back to it. Go to insert, um, load family. Scroll to structural framing, steel, HSS hollow, round structural tubing, open. Now here you have to choose your member sizes. I will choose, these are pretty big here. I, use, I will choose a 3 inch diameter tube by quarter inch thick walls. Um, and I also choose a 2.5 or smaller. But well, actually no, I'll just choose I'll just choose the 3 by 0.25. Press OK. So it's loading into the project. Some of all works are kind of be loaded because it chose a family for uh, the only we try load. No, oh, I was still in the the trust command. So I press modify and I, I redo that. So go to structural framing, steel, HSS round structural tubing. Scroll along to 3 by 2.5. That's okay. Right. Um, I want to see my 3D view. So I want to tie my 3D view by pressing WT. Zoom in here so I can see it. Probably just rotate this a little bit. Alright. Alright, so go back to structure. Make sure this window is highlighted, the plan view. Go to truss. Edit type. You have already created this type. So all you have to do is now change the sections. So the top code I want to be HSS 3 by 20 so you see it's now loaded into the you now have the option to choose it same thing here I would like to use this diagonal webs I would like to use this but for the bottom cord I would like to use probably a smaller member a W8 by 40 now to be I'm um, warning usually a structural engineer will indicate the 
layout for the truss and also the shape the um, material sizes the section sizes for each part of the truss so um, please don't take me at my word that this will be able to support the roof and all that this is just an example to show how you could model your truss press ok and it's not snap from end to end let's drag it so i probably was on the wrong plan so what i'll do is i will undo that and i will Go in a elevation view. And I will choose top of play. WT. Now this is rotated true knot. But let's rotate this project knot. And we we'll repeat the command. Roof truss, make sure that our settings is the same. Yes. And let's try that once more. Oh. That's not the effect I was looking for. Let's undo that. Okay. Um, so uh, right now I'm in my top of plate. Um, plan just to give you an indication where this is in our elevation view. I go to my south elevation view, and um, this is the roof, and this top of plate is here. So the truss will be drawn from here up to this point, which is the highest point, the highest, the higher roof. So that's all that. All right, so I'm in the view, make sure I'm in hidden line view. Go back to truss it's on level top of plate. So if you look in the 3D, it's somewhere down here. I don't know why, but select it in this view and let's look at the properties. It's saying here that the start level offset and the end level offset is negative 4.1. 25 meters so we need to change that to zero zero and there you have it now it doesn't quite reach your roof so in this view 3d view you select it and in the modified trust option you see attach top button top bottom select it make sure that attach trust top is selected reason why we want the top to be attached to the roof so you select the roof Perfect cannot attach to the chosen roof slab. The trust cannot project to a surface or attachment, create an invalid profile. That's strange. Detach. Let's try that again. Selected. Uh, attach. Same error. Cancel. Okay, so I was having problems attaching this to the roof. What I'm going to do is just edit the profile. So I go to my front view, make sure that the truss is selected, go to um, edit profile under the mode. And two ways we could do is choose top cord, pick tool and Pick the bottom of the roof, escape a few times, select this line and delete it. Let's press the green check mark. So now the truss is exactly how I wanted, that's fine. So let's now do the truss system for the sides. So back in the plan view, 
No, the trust is selected here. I could just do create similar. Let's go from this point to that point. Press modify. Go, go to the 3D view. Go to my right view. Zoom in a little bit there. Select the trust and edit the profile. Use the select the pick tool. Pick the bottom of the roof, modify, pick the top line, delete it, and just press check pick green check mark. Alright. This beam is off axis. Let's look at that and see what's the problem. Some things you can live with though. That I can live with. I'm not trying to be super, super accurate. Since I've created it and it's sloped here, I could easily copy it to this point and to that point. So it's selected here. The floor plan. Select the floor plan. It's still selected. Use the copy tool. Make sure the constraint is selected. So you go orthogonal. Select this. You'll get the same. These arrows, you'll get the same arrows. That's fine. I think I'll just look at it. Let's take a closer look. Let's see if it's really if it's offset or doesn't seem so. Doesn't seem like it's offset. Um, seems like it's okay. So now that we have done here, let's do on this side. So there's a roof here. So go back to trust. Pick this and Can we do it here one time? One. Go to the 3D view. Uh, what is this? Select trust. Change everything to zero. Zero. Because we have adjusted the previous trust. The start level offset and the end level offset reflects that. Alright, so, oh, so that's what you want. So I select right, select this truss, um, add a profile, pick two, button, escape a few times, delete this. Some members will overlap. Okay, fine. Let's see what's going on there. Oops, I I chose the wrong one. So control Z. Um, just re uh, select this. Let me see. Shift. What I'm going to do, select the truss and uh, select the roof, hold on control and isolate it by going by the glasses, isolate element, go to right view, select the truss, edit the profile, delete, so let's go to top chord. The current transformation of this specific trust layout will cause sub members to overlap. Okay. Um, 
two sec. So we'll do the same thing for this side. Isolate the element. Go to the left side. Edit profile. Choose top code. Delete this. Top code. Get the same error. Don't know why. Um, to reset. Temporary high isolate. Um, there's no need to put a trust system to the back. It will just attach to this existing trust. The only thing I need to figure out is uh, some, um, well, I guess some sort of flashing. I will come down here, so if rain fall, it doesn't get into the building. But all right, well that concludes my trust example. Um, I hope you have success with yours. Alright, have a blessed night. Good night.